Okay, now let me open GoodLock application and open a home of module on GoodLock. Now let me tap on this three dot button and show you the latest version that we have got here on this phone. This is 15.0.01.19. And when I go back and tap on home screen, you see we have got a couple of brand new options here. One is the finder access, the other one is app icon setting. Now these two options are not currently available on the home of module officially because there is no official update uh, pushed out by the good luck team yet for the Galaxy phones. However, we have got uh, one of the Twitter artists, uh, Tarun Watts, who has shared uh, the APK link for this particular update, which can be used to update the home up module on GoodLog to the latest version with latest features. Now, you may see the same version number on your existing home up module, but that may not have these two features. But when you update the app using this APK, which Tarun Watts has shared on his Twitter account or X account, uh, you will be able to get an update, and th that update will include these two to new features. Now let me go ahead and show you what these features does. The first one is Finder Access. It says open the Finder by swiping down anywhere on the home and app screen. When you tap on this, you get two options for Finder Access. One is home screen and the second one is application screen. So you can select either of these or you can select both. Now let me just select both. Now let me go to home screen and swipe down on the home screen. You see we get a direct access to Finder here. And when I'm on the app tray or app screen, I don't really have to tap on this bar to search something on the Finder. Uh, though we have this Finder access here, we can directly swipe on the app tray to get the keyboard up and running for uh, typing on this uh, search bar. That is just fantastic. Now, like I said, we do have the search bar or this finder bar on the top when you go to the app tree, but we will have to go another step to tap on this particular bar to get this uh, uh, keyboard to start searching. Uh, instead of that, when you have selected the options on home up, what you can do is if you're on the app tree, you can just swipe down to get a quick access to the uh, bar, the finder bar on the top. Now, this is the option that we have got on this latest version, the finder access on both home screen and app screen. Now, when you're on the home screen, it's very easy to access the Finder, but you'll have to trade off this feature with the swipe down to notification panel, which obviously won't work if you have enabled this feature on home of module. So you decide whether you want swipe down for the notification panel or swipe down for the Finder option. I would prefer swipe down for the notification panel rather than swipe down for the Finder access because I'll be able to quickly access the quick panel or notification panel with just one hand. I don't really have to go to the top edge of the phone to open the notification panel or quick panel. I can swipe down from anywhere on the screen to get the access to this panel. However, if you are someone who prefer the uh, finder access on the home screen, you can do that by selecting this option on this latest version of home up. Now the second option is app icon settings. Now let me tap on this. Here you see when you enable this, we will be able to increase or decrease the icon sizes right here. And we can also enable these two options here, show app icon label on the home screen and show app icon label on the app tray. Now this option was already there in the previous version where we could uh, enable or disable the app icon label on both home screen and the app tray. But now we have got this separately, we can enable or disable the app icon label either for the home screen or for the app tray, which is kind of thoughtfully done. Now let's say I want to uh, disable the uh, app icon on the home screen. This is how uh, the home screen would look. It looks clean with only the icons without the app names. And when I go to the app tray, we'll be able to see the app names here. Now let me just go back here and uh, enable this and disable uh, the app icon label on the app tray. Now you see on the home screen, we get to see the uh, app icon labels, but when you go to the app tray, it's very clean. Now, depending on your preference, you can enable or disable these features. Now I would prefer keeping the app icons uh, so I will keep it as it is. The other thing is icon size, which can be increased or decreased right here. Now this option was there on the uh, theme park engine or uh, whenever you're customizing the theme on the phone on theme park, you can uh, specifically customize the app icons on theme park engine. Let me just show you that. Let's go to uh, good Lock and uh, open a theme park here. Now here you can just tap on icon to uh, create a new icon here. And this is where you have got this arrow, tap on this arrow to increase or decrease the size of the icon to customize this and then download it and install it. So this is a cumbersome process to increase or decrease the size of the icons. But now with this version of home app, we'll be able to quickly change the size of the icons or customize the icon size 
using this particular option here, app icon settings. We can use this slider to increase or decrease the app icon, which is just fantastic. Now, these are the two important features uh, which have been added, which will be very, very useful for a lot of Galaxy phone users. And thanks to Tharun Words on X for uh, sharing this link, which can be used to update uh, the home of module to the latest version with all these brand new features. Now, I'll leave a link for his Twitter handle in the description for that particular post. And I'll also share the same APK link which he has shared in the description. You can go ahead and tap on download. Uh, you might have to give some permissions to update the APK. Uh, you can just tap on update to update the existing APK. It will not install any new application. It will just update the existing APK, which works very well. Go ahead, download it and enjoy the new features. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, you can go ahead and download it from the link in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new uh, link for the uh, wallpapers. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper and the links will be in the description. All my previous videos have got the links. You can go ahead and check them out and download them. That's about it. Thanks for watching. If you find this video informational and interesting, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, do not forget to subscribe. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.